Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul. Plus a few little extras I was gonna share with you. I've got my Dollar Tree mug. I love this mug. Do they keep my coffee hot? No, but I will tell you a little trick. I fill this with super hot tap water and let it warm up before I pour my coffee in it. So when I turn my coffee on to brew, I fill this up and my tap water gets pretty hot. I let the cup warm up, dump the water out, fill it with coffee, and it does tend to stay a little warmer. Take it for what it's worth. Mm. I have pumpkin spice coffee that I got at Aldi, and it's really good. Um, they're carrying at my Aldi pumpkin spice and maple, and they're both really good. I don't recommend the bacon. They have a bacon flavor from last year. It was gross. Just saying. All right, so I got some Dollar Tree stuff, but I also ran to Marshalls, and I picked up this shirt. It's like this wick away, and it has the thumb holes, which I'm, my, I don't care for those. It's hooded, and it does have front pockets, and it definitely is not coming off. It's coming off on the screen more gray. It is definitely a blue-green. Um, yeah, so I grabbed that just to wear with leggings this fall and winter. If you watch my vlog, I'm in the process of taking putting all my summer stuff away and pulling out winter, but a lot of my clothes are work clothes. So I needed more like athleisure wear for home because I'm not going in the office at least until January, but probably not then. Um, so while I was at Marshall's, I grabbed for Sarah and I, these are stress relieving, refresh your day, hand and body sanitizing tissues. Um, they're made with aloe. They are zero alcohol for sensitive skin, safe for baby, and 99% germs and viruses, bacteria. They have the right ingredient to fight COVID. Um, we have a road trip coming up, and these will be great for the car. We'll be in the car a lot on our road trip. We're driving to Massachusetts from Ohio, so that's about 12 to 14 hours. And then we're driving all over New England. So I'm like, you know what? We need some just general wipes for the car and bonus that they are sanitizing. So I thought, and they were on clearance for $2. I didn't think it was a bad deal. You get 15 wipes. So we can just throw them in the glove box or in the little console and have wipes if we need them in the car. Um, some of you eagle eyes saw that I was at a cumin. However, when I made my chili, there is cumin in the chili powder, but I grabbed some cumin at, uh, I went to Marshall's slash Home Goods. It's both. This was $2.99, which for organic ground cumin, I don't think that's too expensive. So I grabbed some cumin because I was out. And then I got one more lunch container of the glass. And this one is separated into two sections so I can do meat and cheese or like eggs and whatever. And it keeps them from, I don't have an issue with my food touching, but if I make like deviled eggs and they slide around too much, they get wet. Um, so I thought this would be good. It's two-sided. So I'm pack lunches and stuff in. So I have a fair amount of food containers now that I can get rid of a lot of the cheaper plastic ones that I bought. Oh, and that was, this was $4.99. They also had two sets, two packs, but I think they'll hold like one cup for $7.99, but I think this is perfect for me. And I'm not sure how much each side holds, but I would say it's probably a cup or a cup and a half, if I had to guess. And I don't have to guess, so I'm not. And then I got from Ulta um, an email the other day because I hadn't been in in a while. I used to shop there a lot when my nieces were younger, but now they're grown and they buy their own stuff. So they gave me free $10 off of anything. So I grabbed some of these for the Christmas season. Um, they're just like Color Street or Jam Berries. They're $7.99 at Ulta and they're silver glittery. I thought these would be fun for the holidays. So I grabbed those. And then I got a hair mask for sterling silver, so to kind of brighten up some of my gray. I'm going to do it, but since my hair is so short, I'm going to do half of this package. 
and then I need to get a haircut. So I figure this is the time to do it. And I spent on this total $4. Um, I'm hoping they come up with like a fall color. I like these, but whatever. There's Wellington behind me. They just had their dinner. So I'll take these and then I have a container going of travel stuff. Am I the only person that does that? I know I'm leaving in a month and a half, but as I come across things, I have a, sorry, my, it's hot today. Um, I have like a, a bag that I leave in my car for Aldi, but I have it in my kitchen and I just keep tossing things as I remember that I want to take them on our trip. Is that weird? I don't know. I just don't want to forget stuff. And then I need to do my laundry and pull out clothes. I'm kind of debating if I even want to pull work clothes out of the boxes, but we'll see. I suppose. I do need to go through my sweaters though. I bought I think three, maybe four new sweaters this year. So I kind of want to purge out some of my older ones just because, you know, they get older. All right, I got a bunch of stuff in here for all different things and I'll just kind of pull it and tell you. But this, guys, is this adorable or what? It's just an empty box. I was like, what is in there? Nothing. With the little baker's twine on the top. Uh, perfect to pack a gift in or maybe, you know, cookies in it or something and gift to somebody. And I just think it's a lot of fun with the glitter. You could also just sit this on a counter or on a table and call it a decoration. Because, you know, you can do that. Um... I found golf. These little table games. So far I have ping pong, basketball, and now I found golf. And I just feel like these might even be fun for like on Christmas, get them out and we can all just play games. You know, just little tiny games. I just think it would be fun. My, we like games in my family. So I grabbed that or I'll give it to my brother. Um, I got this for one of my brother's dogs. It's a tennis ball on the inside and then it's this rubber now I can stretch it and manipulate it so I know it's not going to be good for the German Shepherds but I think Jody will enjoy this my brother's she's a smaller dog so I got that for her and you know what these are a dollar if she chews them up in an hour she lived her best life for an hour just watch her and throw it away who cares I don't care I just think it'll be fun and she will very much enjoy trying to get to that tennis ball in here and I'm sure she'll she'll succeed at that all right these are getting ready to go outside I'm doing some clear spray I mean I love these they're white eucalyptus and if you can see the amount of glitter that is on these suckers oh boy there is a lot of glitter on these so I'm going to shake them outside and then seal them and I'm actually using real sealer, not hairspray. You can use either. I just happen to have the sealant outside going right now. I'm working on a project. So this is the next that's getting sealed because it's a mess. But I thought, how pretty, especially when I transition into winter from Christmas. Like this would just be so pretty laying on my mantle against that navy blue, this stark white with some just some greenery. I think this would be really pretty. Um, they have it in gold as well and silver, maybe red. I just liked the white or the simplicity of it, I suppose. Um, but let me just tell you, there's glitter everywhere in this bag. I grabbed three stars and these are pretty thin, but I thought about making some type of a sign or hanging them like top to bottom or something and doing like joy I don't know I just thought um some type of a wall sign I could totally do joy and just get big letters and hang them you know like the stars three in a row I have for a long skinny wall or something I, I'm not sure but I felt like I needed three of them and I saw them and you know at the Dollar Tree if you see it you buy it um if I was thinking clearly I would have bought six and glued them together I'm really liking gluing two of them together and making them very sturdy um yeah I could even glue all three of these together and they would 
put them on a base. But I think I'm going to do a hanging sign and just, you know, attach them maybe to a ribbon and have it say joy. And I'm going to try to do it without using my Cricut. I know a lot of folks maybe don't have a Cricut. And there are options. You don't have to. I just have one, so it's easier. But, you know, whatevs. Uh, I grabbed two more packs of letters. I've been buying these up when I see them. There are 26 pieces, but it doesn't say that you get a whole alphabet. I've never really checked, but I probably should. I don't think you get every letter of the alphabet. I think you just get 26 random letters. But we'll see. Maybe one day I will open them up and lay them out and we'll see what we got. But right now I just throw them in a tub. I open them up and when I need letters, cause these are great for making signs. Um, and then I found this, look at the size of this. It's now it's very soft, but I'm using it for my nephew who's 15. I'm getting him a gift card and then a bunch of like junk food. I'm getting him a gift card to a video store and I'm going to get him a lot of like Takis and Doritos and stuff like that. And I'm going to fill this. So it doesn't need to be sturdy. It just needs to be big enough to hold the stuff that I'm getting him. And I know he'll love it. And I think that's a fun gift. 15 is hard. You know, they're, he's kind of in the middle and he enjoys video games. So that's what I'm going to get him. Um, I picked up the scoop. They also, I almost bought the one in the pet section, but um, this weekend we're doing our Hocus Pocus and I'm making some harvest mix. And I thought we would just use this scoop to, to scoop it into cups for ourselves, not me, but the kids and my family. And that way no hands are reaching in. We're just scooping and then hanitizing. So I thought that would be perfect. Um, I liked that it was black and white. They also came in red and white. And that was in the kitchen area. Um, what else we got? I don't have a whole lot this trip, although I feel like I do, I, because I bought a lot of multiple stuff. Um, emergency Q-tips. I'm not going to lie, I don't love these Q-tips. I prefer the Q-tip brand, but I'm, I needed some, so I got them. They're just for emergencies. I picked up these removable hooks. These are great for decorating for the holidays. Um, just be careful when you put them on and take them off and be careful where you're putting them. I tend to put these more on wood, um, molding, doors, glass, and not necessarily on painted walls. But I also don't put command too much on my painted walls because I've had issues where, yes, they come off, but they pull the paint away from the drywall. So, But these are great to decorate with. Um, and so I grabbed them. Just make sure if you're doing it and you don't want the permanent, I get the removable. And they're great for a month. And that's what I use them for, for Christmas decorating or Thanksgiving. Um, like on my mantle, I'll put these on the front and then I can hang garlands from it and I don't have to permanently put holes in my mantle. So these are pretty great uh, brand. They're a good value. You get nine. So I grabbed those when I saw them. Um, they had a lot of the permanent ones, but that was all I saw for that. Um, just for my stock, I grabbed a white paint pen because I love them and I used my last one. So I grabbed a replacement for that. That's not for me. And then for the party that I'm doing this weekend, we are doing, I'm trying to see if I have everything. We're gonna paint um, pumpkins with the kids. So they're 13 year olds. And I feel like they're still at the age where they want to craft, but they kind of want cooler craft. So I think what we're going to do is buy pumpkins. I'm going to get glitter paint, regular paint, hot glue, um, sparklies and feathers and pom poms and let them just decorate to their little hearts content. So to take to my cousins, I grabbed three packs of this size and these are not bad brushes at all acrylic brushes and these each come with three and I'm also going to get the bigger foam ones but I thought if they want to do something small I grabbed this set which has a nice big one and then a little one and I'm hoping this is acrylic and not um 
watercolor, but they'll, they'll be fine. And then I grabbed a multi-pack of acrylics with just some small ones for detailing so they could, you know, enjoy. And then she can have these paint brushes, but I thought these would be good. There'll be five children, teenage, preteens, tweens there. So that'll be perfect. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I love to buy this stuff when I see it. I don't know if this is even, this is not Greenbrier. I think it's like rubber cement adhesive. It says it's solvent free, low odor, water cleanup. And it's good for wood, metal, ceramic, china, porcelain, leather, fabric, and most plastics. I don't know, so we're going to try it. I thought that was pretty interesting. I usually get the um, fix-all, but I thought that was interesting. Um, excuse me, Dollar Tree. You sell crochet hooks? What? The what? This is a 5 millimeter. I don't remember what letter that is, but I'm pretty certain this is what you would use with like worsted weight yarn. And it has the nice big handle. Like what? They had two sizes of it. So we're going to try this. I crochet sometimes. Mostly I work on, yeah, I, I don't know what I crochet. I crochet stuff, baby blankets mostly. So I thought that was fun. So I grabbed it just to try something different and to show. Ooh. Um, If you see these guys, I'm going to need you to grab them. They're bottle brushes. Look at this one. It's flocked. And this one is gold, and I know they had them in silver, and they have the little wooden bases. And these are going for sure on my mantle. Now that I have my TV hung, my mantle is going to have to be a little more low key. I feel like I have more bottle brushes, but I also feel like when I store them, they get all mangled. And these were nice. I op I got I dug in a box. The box was open. I just reached in and grabbed the ones that I wanted. So I got two gold and two green. And what I may do is raise one or the other. Who knows? They're going on the mantle. That's what I know. Probably, maybe. I don't know. But I did get four of them. Because they could also go on my dining room table or in my tear tray. Right? So I grabbed those. Got to get these when you see them. I've only ever seen them at one of my stores. Um, I picked up these. I am making a sign. I'm working on the right now. I'll make a video of it. And it's going to uh, be a reversible for Christmas and winter. And on one side it says let it snow. So I grabbed some snowflakes. Again, the glitter guys. And I'm a glitter fan. But let's use some quality glitter that doesn't bomb everything. But I thought this would be perfect for that. I may have to... Uh, spray paint one of them or paint it navy blue. I don't know if I have any navy blue spray paint. I don't think so, but I have paint blue paint. But if I do that, I'm going to have to sand off all that glitter. But I'm on it. Um, yeah, guys. I mean, I, I shouldn't even have to say, right? That is just adorable. And definitely could go on a gnome on a tiered tray on the top of a mason jar you could do a mason jar all white and put and draw like a snowman and then glue this on the lid or fill it with tea lights i mean it's endless that would be a perfect snowman hat on a mason jar i love them i think i had one from last year but i don't know that i ever found the uh, black and red buffalo check so i got that Oh, for crafting, I grabbed a uh, sanding block. These are great. They're great for crafting and they're great for woodworking, but I use them a lot in my, like, on these stars to maybe clean up my edges. Or um, I take wood filler that I bought at the Dollar Tree and I fill in these holes. Or you can also use joint compound or the lightweight putty and fill in the holes and then use the sanding brick to sand it off. So I always like to have a couple of those on hand. Um, joy to the world, the Lord is come. Pretty, huh? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll do something with it. I feel like it's not the first year. Ooh, I'm going to have to glue that little pine cone back on. Or I have real pine cones I could put on here that smell like cinnamon. Oh, my glasses are sliding down my face. Um, but they had joy, Noel, maybe peace. 
I don't know. And the last two things I grabbed, I love these the size of a Jingle Bell. These make fantastic, like, rustic garland. Take some brown paint and just dab it on there. It makes it look like they're rustic. And hang them. You can put them on lights as well. Um, or just hang them on some twine. These just make fantastic garlands. Especially, or you could do, like, a piece of brown felt that looks like a sleigh harness and stitch these or hot glue them on to that and make like a just a wall hanging would be fun but i don't i don't know if i have any more of this size so i just grabbed a pack if i need more i can always grab them that's definitely not something that they um that they run out of and then i just thought this color was interesting it's almost like a jade um and these are just plastic beads but i don't know what i'll use them for they're oh <laughs> That's why they're weird color or different color. They're glow in the dark. I don't I don't know if they glow in the dark. But they're glow in the dark beads, which is fun for Halloween for sure. They'd be perfect for like Halloween night if you're taking your kids out, make them a lanyard or a necklace. Um and charge them under a lamp for a couple hours. They should work. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll put them out under a lamp and see if I can charge them up and put them in my bathroom. I don't know. But I think that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree this week. I didn't go a whole lot. Again, my stores are kind of in flux. And I will tell you, at Marshalls and Home Goods and TJ Maxx in my area, they literally went from, oh, we have a little Halloween, we have a little fall, to Christmas. I was like, where's the fall? The following's giving. I'm, I didn't see it. I've been going. <sighs> they don't. And I almost bought an apron today. What I'm looking for is the Hocus Pocus Halloween apron, but I've not seen that at my store. Um, but they did have some black and white ones. But then I was like, girl, do you need more aprons? Probably not, but they're cute. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna clean up this mess and then I'm gonna go finish switching or start switching. I'm halfway through. Maybe I would do the what's out, the pants, put them away. Switching my winter clothes over, pulling out winter, putting away summer, and then I'll leave the sweaters for another day. All right, guys, well, I hope you have a great one, and I will talk with you later. Bye.